Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's a Notre Dame Academy taking on Shrewsbury High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Whether you prefer email, texting, or a live person, Safety Insurance is available to help you file a claim and pay your bill. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Learn more at safetyinsurance.com. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up, stands strong, and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it sounds like. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. In last week's match between Mansfield High School and Westford Academy, Mansfield defeated Westford to move on to the quarterfinals. Now, for today's match, we welcome Notre Dame Academy from Worcester making their quiz show debut. And uh, we welcome back Shrewsbury High School on the Notre Dame team. We have Nora. Hello, Nora. How are you? Hi, Billy. I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. Hi, Kara. Hello. How are you doing? You OK? I'm great. How are you? You psyched and pumped? Yes. All right. Hi, Grace. Hi. Good to see you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. Thank you. And hello, Hannah. Hi. Welcome to the show. The alternates are Reagan and Aaron with Coach Kate Connor. And competing for Shrewsbury, we have Nicole. Hello, Nicole. Hi. Good to see you. Arjun, nice to see you hello. as well. Boy, that's a lot of pictures behind you. I'm sure they all tell a story. And uh, hi, Yara. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And yes, hello, Lulu. Hi. Good to see you. The alternates are Hardika and Ethan with coach Melinda Moynihan. <laughs> now, the competition has four rounds, toss up, head to head, category round, and lightning round. Throughout the game, a green light is a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been given. And we start with the toss-up round. All players are active and with a correct answer can contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck. And uh, here we go. What U.S. state is home to Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's historic home, Georgia, South Carolina, or Virginia? Virginia. What is America's number one source of greenhouse gas emissions, food production, transportation, or heating and cooling? Transportation. Which of the following is a synonym for conundrum, puzzle, relic, or devastation? Puzzle. As Blanca on Pose in 2021, who made Emmy history as the first transgender performer to be nominated for a lead acting role in a primetime series? Was it MJ Rodriguez, Laverne Cox, or India Moore? MJ Rodriguez. Take a look at your screens, please. After the fall of the Roman Republic, what first emperor of Rome, depicted here, initiated a period of relative peace known as the Pax Romana, was it Constantine, Claudius, or Augustus? Augustus. In 1902, who signed a law establishing the Census Bureau as a permanent agency that would collect vital information and develop statistics representing the American people? Was it William McKinley, Teddy Roosevelt, or William H. Taft? Teddy Roosevelt. What present-day country is home to Lumbini, a pilgrimage a uh, site which is honored as the birthplace of Siddhartha Gautama, more famously known as the Buddha. Is it India, Nepal, or Tibet? Nepal. 
The North is the twelfth and final chapter in what 2016 novel by Colson Whitehead that, by the way, won the Pulitzer Prize. Was it Harlem Shuffle, The Underground Railroad, or Zone One? The Underground Railroad. In 2021, a rare 1909 baseball card sold for $6.6 million, breaking the record for most expensive sports card of all time. It depicts what shortstop, known as the Flying Dutchman, for his superb speed. Was it Honus Wagner, Stan Musial, or Babe Ruth? Honus Wagner, take another look at your screens, please. Here comes your next question. Hello, I'm Kumble Subhaswamy, Chancellor of UMass Amherst. Here is my question. UMass alum Julius Irving, also known as Dr. J, is widely regarded as one of the best dunkers in the history of the NBA. From 1976 to 1987, he played for what team? Was it the Philadelphia 76ers, the LA Lakers, or the Chicago Bulls? The Philadelphia 76ers is the answer. Uh, the United States went from the world's largest creditor to the world's largest debtor under which 20th century president? Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, or George H.W. Bush? Ronald Reagan. The number sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on is created by adding the last two numbers to produce the next number. This famous sequence is named after what mathematician? Euler, Fibonacci, or Pythagoras? Fibonacci. In Greek myth, who takes revenge on her unfaithful husband Jason by murdering their two sons? Is it Hera, Electra, or Medea? Medea. What is the largest island of the Philippines and the site of its capital city, Manila? Is it Mindoro? Palawan or Luzon? Luzon. And tasked by Hitler to defend the French coast, what German field marshal was not present at D-Day because he'd gone home to celebrate his wife's birthday? Was it Heinrich Himmler, Hermann Goring, or Erwin Rommel? Erwin Rommel. What is the largest ethnic minority in Turkey, accounting for roughly 20% of the Turkish population? Kurds, Roma, or Armenians? Kurds. Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter is set in Puritan New England during the middle part of what century? 16th century, 17th century, or 18th century? 17th century is the answer there. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score right now... Notre Dame, 270 points. Shrewsbury High School, 330 points. Nice round. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. But first, we take a few minutes to get to know the players. I have a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer, and we'll start with Notre Dame. And you, Nora... If you were in the Guinness Book of World Records, what record-breaking feat would you be in and why? Well, if I was in the Guinness Book of World Records, maybe I'd be in for being the world's biggest overthinker, but I don't know. I might have to think about my answer for a bit longer. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kara, how about you? If I were in the Guinness Book of World Records, I would be in for drinking the most tea over quarantine because I drink tea every day and I absolutely love it. On average, how many cups a day? Uh, at least two. Okay. Uh, Grace, how about you? Um, if I was in the Guinness Book of World Records, I'd probably in it for being in the car on the way to swim practice for the longest. Oh, big swimmer, huh? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Hannah, how about you? Um, if I was in the Guinness Book of World Records, I'd probably have a record for being the world's biggest procrastinator because you'll probably never find me starting a homework assignment until the night and before it's due. <laughs> uh, all right, over to Shrewsbury and Nicole. How about you? Um, I'd probably be in the Guinness Book of World Records for eating the most amount of sushi in one sitting mm. because I really love sushi and it's kind of addicting. Nice. Arjun, how about you? If I were in the Guinness Book of World Records, I'd be in it for eating the most amount of Altoids. I just love Altoids. <laughs> Yara, your turn. Uh, probably most hours spent on Minecraft. <laughs> All right, Lulu, and now you. 
Um, I'd be in it for the biggest animal shelter. Oh, good one. I have my rescue dog, Bessie, at home. So uh, nice one, Lulu. Uh, all right, it's time to go head to head. So I say we do it right now. Let's go head to head. Okay, in this round, the correct answer is add 10 points to the team total, and incorrect answers now result in a 10 point deduction. If an answer is not given, there is no impact on the score. So, teams, if you're ready, good luck, and uh, here we go. Who signed the National Aeronautics and Space Act, creating NASA? Was it Dwight D. Eisenhower or John F. Kennedy? Dwight D. Eisenhower. What African nation is home to the cities of Tangier and Casablanca? Morocco or Algeria? Morocco. In Greek mythology, what prideful girl was turned into a spider after challenging Athena to a weaving contest? Was it Arachne or Daphne? Arachne. After World War II, who chaired the first UN Human Rights Commission, Bess Truman or Eleanor Roosevelt? Eleanor Roosevelt. What is the weakest of the four fundamental forces in physics, gravity or electromagnetism? Gravity. What is the smallest country in South America by area, covering just over 63,000 square miles? Is it Paraguay or Suriname? Suriname. Alejandro Mayorkas is the first immigrant and the first Latino to ever lead what U.S. Cabinet Department? Is it Homeland Security or Veterans Affairs? Homeland Security. In 2011, deposed leader Muammar Gaddafi was killed by revolutionary forces in what country, Syria or Libya? Libya is the answer there. And that's the end of the round. We'll take a look at the score. Notre Dame, 300 points. Shrewsbury High School, 360 points. This is a close match. Great job, teams. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Zero sum, thanks for the memories, up and Adam, All Saints Day, Don't Call Me Shirley, and Stamp Act. Now, teams will be able to select two five-question categories and will have the option to toss one question per category to the other team. And teams, yes, are able to confer. And uh, Notre Dame, who's going to be your spokesperson? That'll be me. Okay. Hello, Nora. Uh, Shrewsbury, who will be the spokesperson? Me. All right, uh, Nicole. And uh, this is going to be good. Notre Dame, you have a little ground to make up. Not a big deal. Little ground to make up, and you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Um, I have no idea. I said it was either Up and Adam or Stamp Act. Yeah, maybe we should do the Stamp Act. Okay, we're going to go with the Stamp Act, Billy. Stamp Act. Okay, these are going to be questions about the U.S. Postal Service and for 10 points. What founding father was the first person to serve as Postmaster General of what is now the U.S. Postal Service? Um, isn't that Franklin? Yeah, ben yeah. Franklin. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to go with final answer, Ben Franklin. And Ben Franklin is the correct answer. Now for 15 points, known for hits like I Got You, Babe, What Goddess of Pop?, was turned down after offering to volunteer at two post offices in Malibu in 2020. Um, is that Cher? Cher. Cher. Okay, We're, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah final Cher. answer, Cher. Cher is the correct answer. Now 20 points. Voting by mail began in the United States during what war? Should we pass? Or... Uh, answer, please. Nora? Um, we're going to pass this one. You're going to pass. The answer is the Civil War. And now for 25 points in 2020, House Democrats investigated what Postmaster General over accusations he reimbursed former employees for contributions to Republican campaigns. Do you guys want to toss this one? Do you ready? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, we're going to toss this one. We're going to toss. Shrewsbury, do you have an answer? What are you guys thinking? I have no idea. Um, pass. We're going to pass. No answer. Okay, the answer is Louis DeJoy. And now back to Notre Dame for 30 points. Uh, the U.S. Postal Service increased its rates in 2021. What is the current price of a first-class mail forever stamp for a letter of one ounce or less? Is it, is it five cents? I don't know. It could be off. 50 cents? 58 cents, maybe? 58 cents. 58 cents. 
Um, final answer, 58. 58 cents is a correct answer. And now we go to Shrewsbury, and you'll need a category. What's it going to be? Um, what do you guys think about Don't Call Me Shirley? Sure, why not? All right, sounds good. Yeah, sure, sure. Don't Call Me, don't Shirley? Call me Shirley? Okay, Don't Call Me Shirley. These are questions about film quotes. And for 10 points, I am serious. And Don't Call Me Shirley. This famous line is from what 1980 parody of disaster films? Airplane. Um, airplane. Our final answer is airplane. Airplane is correct for 15 points. There's no crying in baseball. Uh, Tom Hanks delivers this memorable line in what 1992 film about a women's baseball league? <sighs> I forget. <laughs> Nicole, answer? No answer. Pass. We're going to pass. Sorry. No answer. A League of Their Own is the movie. And by the way, I think I did a pretty good Tom Hanks there. Uh, okay, now for 20 points in The Princess Bride, what word does Vizzini use four times before Anigo Montoya says, you keep using that word? I do not think it means what you think it means. I'm going to put my tongue. Um, Nicole, answer? No answer. Pass. We're going to pass. All right. Inconceivable is the answer. We'll move on for 25 points, though. What 1985 blockbuster ends with Christopher Lloyd saying, roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, um, is it Ferris Bueller? Nicole, final answer? Ferris Bueller, stay off. No, Back to the Future is mm -hmm. the movie. Uh -huh. And now for 30 points in Casablanca, what five-word phrase does Humphrey Bogart say to Ingrid Bergman four times, including during their poignant farewell? Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Final answer. Here's looking at you, kid, is the correct answer. And now we go back to Notre Dame. You'll need a category. What's it going to be? Um, do you guys have any? I feel like either thanks for the memories or up and at them, but. Yeah, I, I agree. OK, okay. Um, we're going to go with up and at them, Billy. Up and at them. Uh, these are questions about chemistry and for 10 points. If an atom contains 11 protons and 12 neutrons, its atomic number will be what? 12? Wouldn't it be 11? I think so, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, we're going to go with 11, final answer. And 11 is the correct answer for 15 points. The phrase mad as a hatter predates the mad hatter in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. What toxic metal used in the manufacturing of felt hats in the 19th century is known to cause neurological damage? Isn't it mercury? Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, final yeah, answer, mercury. mercury. And mercury is correct. Now for 20 points, who is credited with the invention of the modern periodic table of elements? Oh, what's his name? Um, is that Men not Mendel Mendeleev? 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 Oh, Mendel yeah, that sounds familiar. Is it Nora, Mendeleev? final answer? <laughs> okay, um, final answer, Mendeleev. Yes, Dmitry Mendeleev is the answer now for 25 points. Also known as propanone, what highly volatile and flammable liquid is the active ingredient in traditional nail polish remover? Acetone. Acetone. Yeah, acetone. acetone. Yeah. Final answer, acetone. And that is correct. Now for 30 points, DNA codes for proteins, which are the building blocks of organisms. What structural protein that forms connective tissue is the most abundant protein in the human body? Is it collagen? Collagen. collagen? Yeah, I think it's collagen. OK, yeah, I think so, too. Um, final answer, collagen. Collagen is a correct answer. And now we go back to Shrewsbury, and you'll need a category. Um, I think we should go for thanks for the memories, or I'll say yeah. today. Okay. Thanks for the memories. Sure. OK, we're going to go with thanks for the memories. OK, Nicole. Uh, these are questions about memoirs for 10 points. If you don't get out of there and define yourself, you'll be quickly and inaccurately defined by others. What former first lady wrote this in her best-selling memoir, Becoming? Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. Okay. Final answer, Michelle Obama. And that is correct for 15 points. Under the pen name Isak Dinesen, Danish author Karen Blixen published what highly regarded 1937 memoir about running a coffee plantation in Kenya. Oh. Do you guys know this? No. Um, no. Do you want to toss this? I, think I know it, but yeah. Um, Let's toss okay. it. We'll toss this to the other team. Are right, you going to toss to Notre Dame. Notre Dame, do you have an answer? 
Out of Africa. Okay, cool. Um, final answer, out of Africa. Out of Africa is correct. And we go back to Shrewsbury this time for 20 points. Released in 2019, three years after his untimely death, uh, The Beautiful Ones is a posthumous memoir of what pop superstar? Oh, um, is it good? Is it Prince Dan Dan Grande? Um, what's his name? I think it's Prince. Um, Prince. Is it Prince? Say. Oh, good. It's, okay. Never okay, mind. Let's go, Prince. Prince. Let's go with Prince. Prince. <laughs> Uh, Nicole, final answer? Final answer, Prince. Prince is correct for 25 points. In her book, First They Killed My Father, author Luong Ung recalls growing up in Cambodia under what deadly regime that seized power in 1975? The Khmer Rouge. Um, yeah. Yeah. Final answer, the Khmer Rouge. And that's correct. Now for 30 points. Do not worry. You have always written before, and you will write now. All you have to do is write one true sentence. Write the truest sentence that you know. Who wrote this in a movable feast, his memoir of Paris in the 1920s? Hemingway? Yeah, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway? Yeah. Let's say Ernest Hemingway. Okay, Ernest Hemingway for final answer. Ernest Hemingway is the... Correct answer to that question. And that ends the category round with Notre Dame right now, 470 points. Shrewsbury High School, 435 points. This is still a very close match. Good job, teams. Okay, we are heading into the final round of play. We call it the lightning round. All players are active with each response, can add or subtract 20 points to their team total. A decision not to answer does not impact the score. We have 10 questions. This is a close one, teams. Good luck. In April 2021, Paddington 2 dethroned what Orson Welles' masterpiece as the top-rated film on Rotten Tomatoes, The Third Man or Citizen Kane? Citizen Kane. What volcano in Sicily has erupted at least 190 times since its first recorded eruption in 1500 BC? Mount Etna or Mount Vesuvius? Mount Etna. Mr. Collins is a pompous clergyman who courts Elizabeth Bennet in what Jane Austen novel, Sense and Sensibility or Pride and Prejudice? Pride and Prejudice. Tectonic plate movement is caused by convection currents in which of the Earth's layers, the crust or the mantle? The mantle. Ibrahim Raisi was sworn in as president of what country in 2021? Was it Iran or Iraq? Iran. What famous palace in Granada was the last stronghold of the Moors in Spain? Alcazar or Alhambra? Alhambra, in 2020, what star quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs signed the most lucrative deal in sports history? Patrick Mahomes or Drew Brees? Patrick Mahomes. In 1948, who became Israel's first prime minister? Golda Meir or David Ben-Gurion? David Ben-Gurion. In 2019, what film star said he changed his mind about killing off his grandma alter ego, Medea? Was it Kevin Hart or Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry. What Greek tragic hero unknowingly kills his father and marries his mother, Theseus or Oedipus? Oedipus is the answer there. And that's the bell ending the game. The winning team this week is Shrewsbury High School with a total score of 815 points. Notre Dame finishes with... 590 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great round. So Shrewsbury High School now moves on to play Mansfield High School. And uh, join us next week for the match between Mystic Valley Regional Charter School and Weston. Until then, don't forget you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play 
High School Quiz Show. And we'll see you all next week. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Cyber attacks aren't going away. You can talk to an independent agent about cyber coverage from Safety Insurance. It covers data restoration, data recreation, system restoration, and more. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms, even the cyber kind. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Additional funding is provided by UMass Amherst. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, a revolutionary spirit runs through our veins. As pioneers, builders, unconventional doers, we dream bigger, reach higher, and commit ourselves to the relentless pursuit of progress.